In this video, we'll look at adding the code for the delete use case to our database example application. In this video, you will review diagrams for the delete use case, and you'll learn how to write code that will delete a record from the database. Here's our completed application in action. The results of our read use case provides us with this table. We also have some links that let us do some other things. One of those is the delete link. Notice if we click on delete for a particular record, that record will be deleted. So I can clean up records that are not needed. Here's our sitemap diagram for our application. Notice when we click on delete, things happen, but the viewer only sees the result as we return to the table view with possibly a record deleted. Here's our swim lane diagram for the use case. A user will post a request by clicking on the delete hyperlink from our table. This will call the delete servlet. The delete servlet will call on the helper delete query. Delete query will delete the record. The delete servlet will then post a request to our read use case to read and create the new table from the database. In Eclipse, we see the current status of our project. We have an index.jsp to provide a view to just to get things started. We have a read servlet. Any request to the read servlet will result in the table being presented to the user. The read servlet will make use of the read query, and then it will go to the read view when done. If the user wants to add a record, they'll click on the add record link in the read view. This will post a request to the add form servlet, which will pass execution on add form to present a form where the user can add data to be entered into the database. When the button with the form is clicked, add servlet will be requested and it will use the add query helper to actually add the record to the database, in which case we'll go back to the read servlet, read query, and read.jsp to see the table again. In this part, we're going to add the code that will let us do the delete use case. Keep in mind, we need to start by adding some things to the table for the read. Assuming you have watched the video on building the read use case, you'll recall that we have a method that creates the table that we view. Here we see the code that creates that table. At this point, it simply shows the book title, the author, the pages. We need to add another column that will include a hyperlink to the delete. Let's copy, then paste. We're going to replace this with a hyperlink to delete. The user will see the word delete. Now we need to enclose that within a hyperlink. We can also set the hyperlink to be delete. And when we create the delete servlet, we'll make sure that delete is the URL mapping for that delete servlet. Now we need something here that will specify to the delete servlet which book needs to be deleted. So we need to add the book ID to this delete hyperlink. The best way to do that is through the use of a query string. A query string is the part of the URL mapping that will include some data. After the requested address, we use a question mark, which serves as a delimiter in a URL, to say after this point there's some data. This will be followed by name value pairs, for instance, book ID equals some value. In this case, we want the value for the book ID to be the value of this particular book. So let's add some concatenation the book dot get book ID so when we run this there should be a hyperlink to delete which won't work yet because we haven't created the delete servlet followed by book ID equals the number of this particular book let's run this just to test here we see that the delete has been added to each row if we have a look at the URL let's click on the one for for the SS option. We see a 404 error, meaning the delete request can't be resolved because there's no resource, which we know because we did not create that, but we also see that it asks for the delete with a book ID equal 24. That's sent as a request parameter, so we can get that off in the same way we get other request parameters from a form. So the read query is now set up to handle a delete. Let's go ahead and create our delete servlet. Right click on controllers, select new, and select servlet. We're going to call this delete servlet. Click next. 
Now we want to alter the URL mapping so that we match the delete that we saw in the hyperlink we just created in the read.jsp view component. So by changing this URL mapping to delete, this servlet should be called when we click on one of those hyperlinks. Here we are in the servlet. In this example, we're doing all do gets. So let's delete the do post. What do we need to do within the do get? We need to get the book ID, use a delete query object to delete the book, then make a read request. Book ID is easy. String book ID equals request dot get parameter book ID. So we now have the book ID. We should also be easy to make the read request. String URL equals slash read request dispatcher dispatcher equals request dot get request dispatcher give it URL import the request dispatcher use dispatcher to forward on to the next item. So what remains is that we call the delete query to actually perform the delete. We'll come back to this servlet to finish this out after we've created the delete query. To create the delete query, let's use one of our previous queries as a template. Let's right click on the add query, copy, then let's paste to DB helpers, and of course we'll call it delete query. Open up the delete query, and let's have a look. Before we write the code, let's review the steps that we need to accomplish inside the delete query. Anytime we connect to a database, we need to use the driver to make a connection object, use the connection to make a prepared statement, set up and use the prepared statement to query the database, and then process the query results. So inside this delete query, as in add query in the constructor, we are already creating the connection object, and it is stored as a class instance variable. For the delete query, we need one other piece of item in order to work with the query, and that's the book ID. We'll read that into the delete method. We also see in the delete query, held over from our add query, which we previously copied, a method that was used to perform the query and to get the results. Let's edit this to say do delete. Now instead of a book, we're going to want to read in a string and the book ID. Then we'll want to delete from books where book ID equals question mark. Recall that in a prepared statement, the question mark is a placeholder. This means that we'll want to fill in this question mark with the book ID. We have the prepared statement declared within the try. And unlike add, we only have one question mark. We need to set it to an int. And we're going to provide it book ID, which should be read in as an int. This do delete should do the work for us. It should delete from books where the book ID equals the value brought in, create a prepared statement using the connection object, set up the prepared statement with the book ID, and then execute it using the execute update method of the prepared statement. Here we are back in our delete servlet, ready to finish the delete use case. To do this, we need to write code in this middle part where we use the delete query object to delete the book. Notice that our book ID has been read in as a string, but we want it to be an int. So let's change this to int. Then let's 
use the parse int method. To make the string in it. Now we simply need to create a delete query object. Let's call it dq equals new delete query. We need to give it our database name. We need to give it our database username. And we need to supply the database password. Notice that delete query needs to be imported. Next we can call the method, the do delete method, and we can supply the book ID. Now that should do it. All that remains is for us to run and test our code. Let's try deleting SS down here to clean up the database table. When I click on delete, that should delete the book with the book ID of 24. You can see that at the bottom of the Firefox window. It should then call the read use case in order to see the list again, minus the record we have just deleted. Let's see if that works. Yes, looks like we're successful. In this video, we reviewed diagrams for the delete use case. And we learned how to write code that will delete a record from the database in order to complete the use case. This has been a Piercy production.